Hey guys, I'm back with another video and I'm on the beach in beautiful Copacabana, in popular Copacabana. Um, so what I wanted to talk about today actually is why did I choose to uh, move to Brazil, leaving the comforts of Canada? Well, there's a few reasons really. Uh, the main reason is the, basically the weather. I, I mean, a lot of people, specifically Canadians, uh, will say that they like the winter or they like the sports in, in the winter time. I am not one of those people. Um, basically, this past year has even made it more difficult, uh, specifically for myself, um, to deal with uh, the winter in Canada. Um, so. As many of you know what's going on in the world, uh, last year with all the lockdowns and whatever, um, for me personally, it was extremely difficult considering I lived alone. Um, I was still working every day, Monday to Friday, um, which kind of helped. So I think that made uh, winter pass by a little bit easier, even given the, that there was nothing to do during the winter time, considering uh, all the lockdowns and the restrictions that came along with what's going on in the world. So for me, that was a no-brainer. Um, I had been to Brazil many times, so I know how the, how the climate is and how beautiful it can be, even in the winter time. For example, today it's technically uh, the winter here in Brazil. But it's 30, 33 Celsius today, 34 Celsius. There's even quite a few people on the beach and it's midweek. So that goes to tell you that even in the winter, in quotations, um, can still have beautiful hot weather in a tropical country. So that was a huge factor for me. Um, being able to do anything you want every day, you know, that also helps. Um, the restrictions here in Brazil have not been um, as bad, especially this year, and this is the this would be we're now in August, so it hasn't been um, as bad as it has in Canada and other parts in the world. But besides that, um, uh, another reason, in no particular order, would be basically here has such a wonderful culture. Um, I have previously been here a few times, um, this would be my sixth time. In Brazil second time actually living here so I'm kind of used to the culture there's not really too many culture shocks for me uh, there's certain things I still won't really get over but that's for another video um, so yeah the culture the, so, so like food and, and the people they're always so welcoming and, and so friendly and they're willing to help you out um, just a, a more warming people than, than I, I, sorry if this offends me, but more colorful than Canadians and even Americans and some Europeans. So that is a truity. And I think many of you who are watching my channel who have been to Brazil will also agree with that analogy. Um, will also agree with that. Um, Another thing which is part of the culture is the food. The food is amazing. Um, I will have videos that I talk about that and show more about it. So, that, I mean, it's amazing. You got the feijão and the, the rice and beans and the, the f many different fruits that they have here. So that was another, culinary was another reason for me. Um, the, only, the only downfall is they don't really have a huge um, selection of, of um, organic type stuff which is what I prefer but I can learn to live with that uh, another reason would be I came also because I had been getting to know a girl over the last two years in, in, and actually in fact we 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 traveled twice together so um, that made a huge difference I ended up meeting I'm actually living with her now so that that was a very very important reason for coming to Brazil to see how that will work um, and that's yeah I mean a lot of people leave their country for 
another person sometimes. I, I did, that wasn't my main reason. Um, that was definitely an important one, but it's not the main reason. Um, going back to what I was saying about in the winter time, being alone in the winter, I'm, I'm okay with being alone when there's stuff to do, but when you're living alone and everything's closed, it, that makes a huge difference. And thinking that there might be, there might have been more restrictions, um, it would it would be nice to, to live with somebody um, and and have someone to talk to while going through those difficult moments. And here, at least, uh, even with restrictions, you can go to the beach, you can go enjoy the weather, enjoy the the, the sun. So that that made all the difference for me too. Um, another big reason for me leaving was the fact that. Um, I was tired of the nine to five routine. Um, as many people are realizing that it it, it sucks. Uh, there's no there's no better word to describe other than the fact that it sucks. Um, I think that I was done with that, and though I really enjoyed working where I was, um, I was still just really fed up with it, and the whole situation that's going on now basically pushed me over the edge. It was like the last straw that broke the, the camel's back, you know? So it was the straw that broke the camel's back, I should say. Um, so that really made a difference for me. I really, 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 really enjoyed the, the nature here. It's unbelievable, you know, being a tropical country, I think it's unbelievable, um, including the, the beach, as you can see in the background here. That's a number one thing for me. I, 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 I love the beach. I can spend every day on the beach so long as it's nice and hot. Um, and they have so many of them here in Brazil. So for me, that's, that's a huge uh, reason as well. Um, the other reason I would say is the cost of living is, especially if you're used doing the conversion from Canadian to reais, which is the currency here, it goes a long way. And I've mainly been using uh, money that I that I make uh, teaching classes online and that'll also be another video of ways that you can you can uh, Live live well in Brazil here and have lots of free time free time is a, Is something you can't buy and has no price So yeah, I would say definitely the, the, the price of living here is much lower and I'm from Toronto so those of you who are from Canada or from Toronto specifically will know that the cost of living there is ridiculous. So, um, and it doesn't it doesn't get any lower. It just keeps going up and up in price. So for me, that was another uh, big reason of leaving Canada as well. Um, what else could I say about uh, another reason about staying of leaving Canada and coming to Brazil? Uh, the other reason I would basically say, which has to do with the 9 to 5 um, working days and the routine of being stuck, I would say life is too short. Um, really at the end of the day, life is too short. We're all going to, you know, inevitably die one day. So I figured I'm going to take, the, I'm gonna take the, jump, the leap of faith and move and be in a totally different situation. I mean, the last time that I lived here was in, back in 2013. So I didn't have any experience back then. I do have certainly a lot more experience now. Um, I'm glad that I got those experiences in the past. So I'm still learning about things here. The language, I'm pretty good with Portuguese. Um, I don't know if some of you know, uh, if you know me who are watching basically, but I, my background is also Portuguese, European Portuguese, but that'll be for another video as well. <laughs> um, so overall, I, I think life is too short to be wasting on staying in, a com in your comfort zone. I will, I will talk about that more in another video. Um, so that's definitely, that makes the difference for me. It was very easy. Um, putting all these things that I've just mentioned uh, of reasons why I left Canada and why I came to live in Brazil. It's, it's definitely a no-brainer um, when you put everything together. Um, so I'm, I'm hoping that I'm gonna be a, a, 
a definitely a positive influence for people and a and a reason maybe that you're if you're thinking of doing the same thing um, from my from my uh, future videos as well any information you need you can always ask me a question in the in the comments below and I'm definitely open to responding to any questions that you have about coming to Brazil about the country itself and about my 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 experiences and current situation here as well so I'm looking forward to seeing you guys in the next video and until the next time take care guys bye bye